Hello, and welcome to Channel 26 News, and thank you for joining us. My name is Nick Alodion, and I'm here with my co-host, Ned Education. Hi. How are you doing, Ned? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing absolutely wonderful. That, that, that's wonderful. I'm glad to hear that. Yep. I'm glad that I'm on here today. And actually, uh, we are very fortunate to have uh, Ned with us today because in the last week or so, we lost our two co-hosts, Lou and Wendy Berger, in an awfully tragic shoveling incident. Shoveling incident? Shoveling incident. That's very odd. It but, is. But I'm sorry to hear the loss. I've heard that they were here for many years. Many years. And it was a big upset to you guys, yep. and I'm sorry, but I am honored to be on the show yeah. today. Not as many years as how much we've known each other for. What is it, 30 years, 20 years? Yeah. 37 and a half. 37 and a yeah. half years. Just remember how we met. Just, I, was, I was jogging in the National Park in Virginia, and, and all, looking at all the wonderful flowers, the beautiful women, just jogging, and then all of a sudden, like, you came jogging with your dog and we started jogging together and we've been jogging ever since we still do jog are you sure we were there i'm pretty sure we met somewhere in california long beach i was rollerblading you were selling ice cream no I, it, it, I, it was in the 70s me how i can't remember the 70s me neither it was a flash <laughs> Great time. 1970 to 1980 could literally be described as about a two-year time period oh it was amazing well I, th I think there's a new segment to this show that... That is right. We actually have a, a new segment in the show called Leo's Gardening Corner. Uh, Leo. Specializing in gardening tools, gardening You need help with techniques. your tul tulips, so this can I help you out. I need some help with my tulips. You do. Let's take a look at that. Wow, he looks like a guy that knows his stuff. Truly, a passionate man about his job. Oh, he, he, smelling that dirt, he must know his stuff. He that. knows, you know, he, he knows. He that's, must have that's, been to a wonderful college. A, definitely. Well, on a more serious news, we have an over, overpopulation of beavers. Beaver students. Oh, okay. beaver students. Yes, I, I heard. The statistics of Beaver students this year, there's an overpopulation of 25 million. Just think about that. I'm pretty sure the number is a little off. 25,000. Oh, 20, 25,000. 25,000. No matter what, that's still a lot that's of students. Lot. It, to, to have in one classroom, yeah. I wouldn't want to be sitting with 25,000 people I in mean, one classroom. What happens then? Do they just... Cram everybody? I mean, how do the seniors People would that? have to sit on top of each other or something. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. You know, well, what are the statistics for people learning now? I mean, do, do, how do they study? Do, do they use quizdoms now? I mean, can they, do they have enough quizdoms? Not so sure about that. But let's take a look at our weather forecast with Wendy Berger. Hello, I am Wendy Berger. As you know, the other Wendy Berger died last week of a very, very tragic accident. But more importantly, let's uh, take a look at what the weather's going to be like in Oregon. That's over uh, Oregon here-ish. Uh, so the weather is uh, got a good week ahead of us. Um, let's take a look. So. Is Corvallis going to see any sun this week? Maybe. Okay, so maybe some sun. All right. Is, there, is Corvallis going to see any, any rain? How about some rain? 
maybe. Okay, that's possible. How about, is there going to be any wind? Wind in Corvallis? Ask later. Is there going to be any wind in Corvallis? Ask later. So, back to you, Nick and Ed. 